Good morning, beautiful people. Hope you're all having a good day today. Well, it's 31 degrees and sunny here, and the next couple of days are going to be cracking hot. So I'm going to smash out a couple of baking recipes today um, because we won't be able to during the week. Alrighty, so passion fruit cream biscuits. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, first of all, get yourself a small bowl and put in your plain flour and your self-raising flour sifted, alright? Sift them in a bowl. I'll put the recipe below as always. Okay, in a bigger bowl, you want to get 125 grams of butter and you want to leave it sitting out as long as you can until it's at room temperature and really soft. We're going to throw in the caster sugar. Now, you're supposed to use two teaspoons of lemon rind. Okay, so get yourself a really small grater and grate just the yellow off the lemon, two teaspoons. But I don't have any, but I had some lemon juice left over from my jelly slices. So I'll put two teaspoons of lemon juice in and hope that it's going to work. Alright, so as soon as we've got them going, you want to get your electric mixer out and beat it up. Once you've beaten it up so it's nice and light and soft and fluffy, which really takes only about a minute. Next thing we want to do is get golden syrup. Oh yeah. And we want to put two tablespoons in. Mix that in. Add your flour. Mix that up. Now just start mixing it a little bit. Now we want to put in a quarter of a cup of passion fruit pulp. Now if you've got fresh go again. If you've got fresh passion fruit, scrape it all out, quarter of a cup, beautiful. But at the minute, passion fruit is not quite in season here yet and it is so expensive. So I just get the passion fruit pulp in the tin and I've always got them in the cupboard just in case. Alright, so we want a quarter of a cup. Yum. Get that goodness in there. Oh, mate. These are so good. Plain flour. On the bench she goes. Flour over it. Keep going with the flour. Okay, as soon as you've got it dry enough to work with, you want to roll it. I oh, know it sounds a bit cut there. Now we want to put it in there, I want to slide onto something, uh, in the fridge for half an hour. I sliced them all up like I did the first time, but this time I've rolled them into a ball, pressed them up. Oh, was that my rings? Well, the first two, look how beautiful they were. Rolled them into balls. Because I reckon, if we roll them into balls and flatten them out a bit, they should come out perfect circles. Duh. Look at that. Okay. So this is how we do it. Now remember they spread. Probably should have put them a little bit apart. All right, just roll it into balls. How cool is that? Ten minutes later, look how perfectly round these ones are. Much better idea to roll it. Beautiful. It's a little bit soft to touch. Yum. Leave them all to go cold. As soon as they all go cold, we'll make the cream. Vicky's are nice and cold. Okay, our butter, 90 grams of butter, has been at room temperature. We want to put one cup of icing sugar, or I think you guys might call it powdered sugar. Alright, we want to beat that with an electric mixer until it's just all blended together properly. Perfect. Oh. Now. Mm -hmm. This is so yummy, this part. Okay, we get more passion fruit pulp. Alright, so we want uh, two tablespoons. We want to put it through a sieve. Make sure you're in camera there. Once we've sieved it all through, mix it in. Oh, yeah. Look at that, beautiful, yum. All right, now if you've got piping bags, put it in a piping bag, but of course I'm out. All right, get your first lot of bickies. So what I've done 
is I've gone through and I've put all the biscuits together and got the ones that actually there got the ones that are the closest to the same width. All right, so just go through and check them all, and you'll you'll be able to should be able to mix them all up. All right, now the bases, turn them over. All right, now if you've got your piping bag, you and it looks gorgeous, but we don't. So I'm gonna get another spoon. Right, mate, you can go hard. There's plenty there. So I reckon a tablespoon would be on each one. Easy. A tablespoon on each one is actually perfect. A little bit overheat, maybe. Try and keep it in a circle if you're doing it with you. Alright, get them on and let the biscuit push it down. And get some icing sugar in your little strainer thingy. And tap away. Oh, yeah. Well, here you have it guys, our homemade passion fruit cream biggies, yeah! Alright, whack them in the fridge as soon as you can so that cream can set and go hard. Um, store them in the fridge with glad wrap over the top or in airtight containers. Pull them out, give them a couple of minutes before you serve them up. Yum! Bye!